everyone. It's Ken Brown from the Oregon Club. We're here at the Graduate Hotel. Thank you so much, Downtown Graduate, for allowing us to use your place as a, uh, our studio today. And today, uh, we are joined by Oregon Ducks softball pitcher, Brooke Inez. Brooke, thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. Hey, uh, let's, let's just jump right into it. Give us a little bit of uh, how, you're, how you're thinking about the season so far. Yeah, I think we're doing really good so far. Um, I think we've just been waiting for this moment for pac play to start. So we're really excited. And um, for all of us to just come together and unite as a team, I think that's what makes us so successful and just having each other's back. So I'm really looking forward to the future season in pac play. Let's, let's say you step away and you are the pitching coach how would you, what, what do you think about your, your, your uh, performances out there? And let me ask this, if there's something you think you need to, to work on, what would it be? Yeah, I think there's um, a lot of room for improvement in my performances. I think just getting ahead in counts and being a little bit smoother um, each inning and kind of focusing on getting stronger each inning. I think that's really important not to really let up after maybe we just scored five runs, I have to know to kind of shut it down after that and let them know where we stand and where I stand. So I think that's really important. Nice. Okay, personally, tell us about your, uh, your road to become an Oregon Duck. Um, you, uh, I, I saw your stats in high school off the charts. Obviously, you were an amazing high school player. And then tell us from there, your uh, kind of the road to get to Oregon. Um, yeah, so... I started my first two years at um, UC Davis and then figured that I wanted to um, kind of move on, just figure out if there's a place where I can um, excel and be better. And that first phone call with Coach Lombardi, I kind of knew that I wanted to come to Oregon. So um, just listening to her and what she wanted in a player and what the expectations were and the standards that were going to be set here at Oregon, I think those really drew me in. And so um, I, I just really wanted to go here. But yeah, so the transfer process was pretty um, overwhelming, but I think Coach Lombardi kind of calmed me down and had me settle in with that. So I think just her making me feel so comfortable, I just wanted to, I knew I wanted to go here before I even took a visit, so. And you guys uh, obviously kind of got shut down uh, last year as everybody did. What was that like? What was that? that season of non-playing alike for you? Yeah, I think the first few weeks was kind of a little bit of confusion. We didn't know if we were coming back. We all just knew to take a one-way ticket home, but we didn't know if we'd be back in a couple weeks, a month. But once we figured out that um, we weren't coming back, I think we kind of had a reset, take a step back, enjoyed our time with our family that we wouldn't have been able to spend if we were in season. Um, and then get back to the grind. I think a lot of us did a really good job with working out, working on things. Like I was in communication with pretty much everyone on the team and um, I can just see that their their want for us to play again was, was huge. And so um, us just working out. I know there's a lot of girls working out at home, both in the weight room and softball, um, my roommates especially. But yeah, I got the opportunity to also work with Janelle Limbaugh, a former duck, and she helped me a lot throughout the summer and just making minor improvements and little adjustments here and there, so yeah. Nice, okay, my last question for you. I saw your high school stats as a hitter. So is Coach Lombardi ever gonna say, hey, I need you to pinch it, I need you to hit? I mean, you had, you had home run, 11 home runs, you, had, you can hit the ball, is she gonna let you swing the bat? Um, I'm not too sure about that. I mean, I also, I did hit in division one softball too, but I think it's a little different in pack play, but, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't ask when I came here just because I knew pitching was going to be my main priority, but I think I kind of, I would kind of bring it up here and there to coach Schultz, but, um, nothing really came out of it, but I know there's a lot of girls that are like joking around like, oh, you should try hitting, just try it. But I was like, no, I'll be like the 25th string first baseman or something. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm going to bat for you, no pun intended, with Coach, man. I saw those stats. You got, you got, to, get, you got to get some swings in in the game. So I'm going to see what I can do for you. Yeah, put in a good word for me. That's right. Yeah, keep pushing it. Okay. All right, Brooke, thanks for sharing some uh, time with us this morning. And uh, good luck. Uh, obviously, we, we can't wait to get back and uh, see you live, uh, hopefully filling up the stadium again. Uh, but you guys have done great. Good, good luck in the Pac-12. And thank you for sharing time with the Orton Club this morning. Thank you so much. All right. See ya.